England Rugby's primary school games approach is the T1 Rugby Megafest. This approach uses a number of small specific games which can develop transferable skills as well as the game T1 Rugby. Organisers can pick and choose the activities based upon the needs of the young children as well as practical considerations such as time, space and numbers. The activities can be played using rugby belts, tag belts or by simply making a touch. This approach allows schools to enjoy the day, rewards them for displaying school games values and also is great to engage young leaders. We're going to play piggy in the middle. The player in the bib is a defender. The other players are the passers. To score a point, the passers have to make five passes in the row without dropping it. To start with, you can't move when you have the ball and the defender can't make contact. Five, great point guys. One. Two, keep moving. Three. Four. Five, another point, well done. This game is called end ball. To start, each team nominate a scorer. You're going to stand over the opposition's line in the score zone. To score a point, you have to pass the ball to your scorer. You can pass the ball in any direction, but you can't run with it. The scorer can move anywhere in the score zones. The defending team can get in the way, but can't make contact. Yeah, well done, great passing. Oh, great passing. Oh, great score, guys, well done. The game's called keep ball. Each player in one team has a ball. The other team are the chasers. When I say go, the players try and touch a player with the ball. Once you've been tagged, step outside the space and score a try. You can then come back in and help the team and they can then help you pass the ball. Chasers, you can only tag a player when they have the ball. We'll time how long it takes the chasers to catch everyone. Keep moving, keep moving. Good job, red team. This game's called Raggy Tag. The aim is to get the ball from one line to the other line and score a try without being touched. If you score a try without getting touched, that's a point. You have four goes to see how many points you can score. You can still keep playing after you've been touched, but the taggers can only touch one person per run. Awesome, so you all score a point. Let's go again. Round two, three, two, one, go. Wicked. The game is rugby rounders. To score a point, the runner needs to get round the cones back home. The fielders must try and make three passes to stop them. Fielders, you can't block the runner. This is rub the nest. You're going to start in pairs on your corner. When I say go, you're going to take it in turns to go to the nest. Take one piece of equipment and take it back to your place. When there's no equipment left in the nest, you can go to another team's nest to rub that. You can only take one thing at a time and you can't stop someone taking something. You get one point per piece of equipment. All right, all the balls have gone, stop snatching from each other's nest. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And stop where you are. Okay, blue team, how many have you got? Give us a count. Five, yellow team, three, red team, four, one. Which means blue team are the winners. Awesome. This game's called ball touch. There's one chaser who has the ball. The chaser has to try and touch the runners using the ball as many times as they can in one minute. It has to be a touch below the shoulders and you can't throw it. The runner needs to run away from the chaser. This is called hare and hounds. In your pairs, the person with the ball is a hare and the other is a hound. When I say go, the hare has to run away from the hound. The hound has to try and keep up. When I blow my whistle, both players must stop immediately. If the hound can touch the hare, they must score a point. If not, the hare gets the point. Okay, so here, so is he your partner? Yeah. Can you reach him? Oh, not quite. You can, no. so that's your point, and this is your point for getting away. You can't reach her, but you can, so that's your point, okay? We're going to play T1 Rugby. You can run with the ball, but must pass backwards. Once you're touched, you must stop. A touch is a one-handed touch anywhere below the shoulders. The closest person from your team will come in, rip the ball and pass it on. In defence, the person who made the touch must be joined by two other defenders. This forms a triangle. Everyone else, make sure you stay onside, which is your side of the ball. You've got to score a try in seven phases. OK, we've got a tag. We've got our two defenders there. Rip the ball. Made the tackle, okay, two defenders, rip the ball.
Lay on. Okay, we've got another tackle ready or two defenders. There we go. Okay, let's try. Well played, Blues. 